Hello and welcome back to the Existence server. Now today I've got a little bit of a channel update type stuff and I've got a little task that I want to carry out as well. Um, so I just thought I'd come over here. I've been doing some enchantment. I've got my boots nicely mended up. I've got some mending on a shovel and some bits and bobs. So basically that's what I've just been doing. So let's see channel update stuff. So as some of you will already know, um, I have actually been accepted to the new Ariador server. Now, if you don't know what the new Ariador server is, it's quite a well-established server that's been going for quite a few years. Uh, it's got a few big names on there, that kind of thing. And it's quite a big thing for me. It's something which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but the thing is, I'm not actually going to be starting there until 1.12. And as it stands at the moment, we don't know when 1.12 is going to be coming out. That could be coming out in a couple of weeks. It could be coming out in a couple of months. We don't know. Um, obviously, they've just made a couple of announcements along the way for the new mobs and the new user interface for the achievements and all that kind of thing. So I'm actually not expecting it to come out anytime soon. But when it does come out, I'm actually going to move over to a new map on the new Arredor server. What is that? Is this part of... Sean Sandjup and stuff. Oh, it's got eggs everywhere. Look at this mess. Anyway, yes. So one, when 1 1.12 comes out, New Riador is going to be resetting its map. It's going to be a brand new map. It's going to be a few new faces. We're all going to be starting off afresh. And I've already got plans. I'm really excited. I've picked our little spot on the map. We don't get to know the seed. We don't get to um, have coordinates. So half the point is that you have to basically learn to survive without coordinates and your health doesn't regen. So this is going to be pretty rough as the series goes. If you can imagine no regen, that is going to be painful. But, you know, that's, that's really good. I really enjoy making life a little bit more difficult at times. So I'm looking forward to this. So that's what we're going to be doing in the not too distant future. Oh, where are we? Have a little sleep. Um, but yeah, that's going to be for 1.12. So between now and 1.12, I need to make a few plans and get a few things finished and do some stuff. Because I want to leave everyone a little bit of something. Sort of to say, thanks for having me here, it's been great. I am going to miss this server, but, you know, New Reador, it's been around for a long time. It's it's a server which I've known about for a long time. I can't, I can't not go, to be honest. It's really, it's a great opportunity, there's great people there, all that kind of thing. So, yeah. So I've got a few things to finish off. Now, the first thing that I want to do today is I actually want to create a suicide booth. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you remember seeing that with um, Doc M. He did a sort of suicide booth type thing. And the idea with it was that you can sort of load it up and then press go and it'll kill you. But it won't just kill you in the normal kind of way with lava or anything like that. It gives your player the kill. So hypothetically, I should be able to get myself some head drops. So I should be able to create a booth where I can go in there and just get myself some head drops as much as I want. Because I want to do that as part of the gift. I want to give everyone a head. Um, just for fun, really. I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Some things to remember me by. They can put it on a pole. They can put it on a spike. They can put it in the ground. I don't mind. It's up to them. Look at that. That's the beast up there. I think it's switched off at the moment. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. So, I'm just going to go get some stuff together and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so what I've decided is I'd really like this machine to be pretty much exactly where I spawned in. Now, when I first started on this server, I spawned in, I think, probably around about here somewhere. So what I thought I'd do is clear a little bit of area here, make it a little bit more open. I'm going to flatten out a little patch down there. I think, I think I'll do it down there because that's a bit more convenient for everyone. And just... Pull the path around from the front there and sort of like because now where people spawn in people going spawn in over on let's jump over there quickly quicker than that come on let's get there people spawn in over there and what i want to do is sort of have like a place where people can spawn out over here and then the iron farms in between because this is kind of really where i started out so that's what i'm going to do I'm going to f sort things out a little bit now, tidy things up, get a few things together. Yeah, I think this actually looks like a really good spot. I don't think the machine needs to be all that big either, so let's have a look at this. Let's get rid of you, sorry. 
You're in the way there. Right. I think if it comes around from here and then down. So sort of down from this bit here. Let's do this. One, two, three. Just mark out where I want it to go. I'm going to have to get rid of that. Uh, uh, uh. Bump. Right. And then I'm just going to pull this round to where I want it to go. Now, if I remember rightly, path blocks actually let light through. So I might put some lighting underneath these. Just to make it a bit more easy to follow. Now there's a little thing going down there. I don't know what that is. I'm going to check that out in a moment. Um, that's reasonably new. Somebody's obviously gone down and maybe just done... What have they done down here? They've just gone down for fun? I don't know. Anyway, let me do a little bit of sorting out. I'm going to find out who owns this, make sure I'm not causing them any problems. And then we're back in a bit. Okay, and we're back. So, I've been playing about with a design that I kind of like the look of. So I'm going to have a go at building that up here. So the idea is going to be that this is the end of the road. You walk in, you fire up an arrow into a slime block, press a button, and then everything else happens for you. So that's the plan. So I'm going to start building that up now. I need to dig out a little area here. I need to work out the size of things. And yeah, a couple of things. I need to wait for this to grow some grass. So that I can turn it into a path block, darn it. Come on, hurry up. Right, so back in a moment. Right, well this is the entrance way. So the idea is that you're going to walk in here and stand on this hopper. And this is where it's all going to happen. All the redstone's going to happen out there in the background. And this is going to close in behind you, which is why we've got the piston above and the piston below. Let me take those back out because they're not needed. And then the hopper is going to collect up whatever items you got and dispense it up into this chest. So I've just done a little test of that. I'll just put a few items in. It's not exactly high-tech redstone going on here, but it's going to do the job. It's going to make sure that whatever I lose, I get back in this chest. Okay, so it's always going to be safe. Right, so next up is to lay out some of the other redstone around here and see if I can remember how I did it. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, so this is what we have now got. I've kind of laid out the shape of a couple of things and I've put down some redstone out here. So I'm just going to show you how this works. I've basically got a pressure plate in there. It's going to push out this piston with the block on. It's going to power all of this and I'm going to get locked inside. So this is really just to prevent the items from splashing everywhere when you die. So there you go. That's me in and locked in now. No options for getting out, unless I jump and run. No, I don't think that works. So, that's the general idea. Let's put that back and that back, and maybe build that up a little bit more. I'll take that back out in a moment. Yeah, so a little bit like that. I'm going to cover over that piston. Uh, there's probably better ways of doing it, but I can't really see them or think of them. So, you know, I think that's okay. I can I can cover that over. That's not a big issue. Right, so next up I need to put in a button at a level... Where does it go? I think I need to jump over there, use this, and start building that up. So, the button, I think, needs to go there. That's going to power that though, so I'm going to have to be careful about how this goes. Maybe I need to double check where the redstone line went here. Um, actually, no, I think what I did there was I came out... Yeah, I remember what I did. Okay, so... Because this is kind of tight in some ways, I decided to take a slightly different angle on it. So, let's go there and there. And then there, there. And then straight across like that. But that one has to be a half slab. Otherwise, I end up powering this when I don't want to. So that stays in. That comes out. That comes out. That comes out. And just to tidy this up. Like that, 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 that. That and that into there. Let's get this slab. Just need one, but you know, <laughs> I can't just have one. Right, 
So, can I put that in there? I think I can. Yep. And then get some dirt. Just going to do this real quick and jump up there. And then that onto there. Right. And then what that means is I need to cover up this entire line right here. Um, otherwise, it's going to look really horrible and ugly. But, you know, it's not meant to be a pretty build. I was kind of thinking about making this look like a gravestone just for fun. <laughs> I thought that would be interesting. Let's just build these up whilst we're here. Because essentially, all of this is the same all the way around. So, like that, that, and that, and that. And then... Bop. And then I was going to go and buy some redstone, not some redstone lanterns, some sea lanterns. I'm going to put one on there and a couple further down as well. So, how's that looking? Yeah, getting there, getting there. Right. I'm going to do a bit more of the redstone in out the back here so that we've got the timer. So the idea is there's going to be a piston on this side that's going to knock you down to half a heart. And then... That piston up top is going to release and drop your arrow on your head. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, so I think that is it all finished. I'm going to give it a little test right now. This is kind of really simple redstone-y stuff, to be honest. Yeah, let's just give it a little test. So, um, I'm basically going to empty my inventory, except from just a couple of items, which I definitely want to keep in there like that. And what else? I should really tidy up my inventory. I don't need that. I don't need that. Why am I even carry them? I have no idea. Right. So that's all the good stuff. I don't need those. What do I need those for? What do I need that for? Let's let those despawn. The string might be useful. Basically, I want to make sure that I've got a few slots empty. So I'm going to take out the red stony stuff and some of that packed ice and just put that over here. Bum, 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 bum. And then those things that I really wanted to throw away, I'm going to put over here. Because I keep picking them back up. It's awful. Right. So that into there. Do I have any? No, I don't have a spare slot for that. There's things in there that I don't want in there. Those. Don't care. Don't care about apples. Got plenty of apples. I should eat them, really. Right. So the big thing with this is to make sure that you're actually running at full health. You don't want to be half empty. Let's put it like that. <laughs> right, let's put those in there. Yes, I've got enough slots almost. Oh, goodness, where does all the junk come from? There, right. I think that'll be a really nice addition. 1.12, they need to add like a bin in your hotbar. Something where it's like, I'm going to throw this away and I just don't want to see it ever again. Right. Here we go. I've got my bow. I've got some arrows. I'm going to put one in there. I'm now at full health. So, time to test it. Walking in. I'm locked in. Right. I'm going to tidy that up at the front, but that's just going to take me a little bit of time. Arrow into the top. Press the button. Ha. Huh. That didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to die way too early. Ah, okay. Oh, that's right. I need to add a little bit more redstone up at the top. Okay, I forgot about that entirely. So I need to create a latch of some description. I don't know the proper names for any of this stuff, guys. So, <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to add this in and we're back in a moment. Okay, so that is it, pretty much finished. Now, I had to change some of the redstone up the top compared to what I had originally designed um, for various reasons. I think the, the setup which I came up with wasn't as stable as this, so I ended up using a lock-in repeater loopy thingy, um, which I've never actually used before, but you know, I kind of knew of them. But there we go, using that. So the idea is, that when you step in, you're going to fire an arrow into a slime block, which is on the end of this piston. That's going to hold it right there on the end of the slime block. And then you're going to get some crush damage down at the bottom there for a period. It'll take you down to half a heart. And then at the end of that, this piston is going to contract and, and you know, re-extend. 
and that will drop the arrow that you've shot onto your head. Now, the arrow will remember who shot it, so you'll get the self-kill. Now, the problem is... <laughs> the problem is... I'll show you what the problem is. So, let's show you all the way through this. Let me get myself an arrow. I've got myself my cheap bow. And we're just going to step in there. And there we go. Step one, I'm locked in. Step two, I fire my arrow into the slime. Step three, press the button. Getting lots of damage. Going down, 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 down. Going to get down to about half a heart. Get the arrow in the face. You see that? Groover was shot by Groover. So it remembers who did the shooting. Now, the problem is this. No head drop. Because I wasn't killed by another player. <laughs> so... It isn't just PvP, it has to be by another player. You can't just get yourself some heads as much as you want, it seems, with this particular command setup. But you know what? I don't mind. I'm going to use this anyway. For, for my last day on existence, I'm going to use this machine. And this is going to be where I die and log off for the very last time. So, next thing up is to make this look a little bit prettier. Make it look like something. Now, I think I need to take this tree out and then just sort of decorate it up. So I'm going to get on and do that and we'll be back in a moment. Right, there we go. So let's give it a test. So go inside. I've got my arrow, I've got my bow, I'm locked in. Fire that up into the slime. Press the button. And just hope that it doesn't completely kill me this time. <laughs> I seem to have been having a couple of problems with a little bit of lag or something. There we go. That's the one. Fantastic. So, yeah. That's where I set my spawn. Got my stuff. Okay, guys. That is all I've got time for today. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that the head didn't drop. But, you know, I wouldn't really find that out until I came into this world and actually built it. So there you go, I'm going to use it anyway. On the last day, on existence, I'm going to use this machine as my final goodbye and whatever I drop is going to end up in the chest and whoever wants it can have it. I'm going to make sure there's a couple of nice things in there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave a like and if you want to see some more, drop me a subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!